Today on 17th of December 2019, Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan came here at United Nations and delivered a speech at Refugees Global Forum. Unfortunately, whatever the world was expecting from Imran Khan, he failed to convince the world. He failed to, to get the confidence of the international community. What her state is taking steps to build the confidence of those people who are fleeing from Pakistan. Today, if we see the data, more than 2.5 million people have fled from Pakistan, living only in Europe. And more than 7 million people have fled from Pakistan and living in different countries because they are facing persecution back at home, because they are facing enforced disappearances back at home, because they are, are facing problems with respect to freedom of expression over there uh, back at home. They are facing a problem of, of pre practicing of their religion, their culture, their identity. They are facing problem from the state security forces. The state security forces have forced the people to flee the country. And, and that's why today more than 10 million people have fled from Pakistan. Over here, while uh, Pakistani Prime Minister was delivering a speech and uh, about the refugees, while the world is facing the refugees, unfortunately, he did, did not mention any steps of her government, that her government is committed to take steps to uh, at least uh, to lessen that problem of fleeing the people from Pakistan on the basis of religion, on the basis of faith, on the basis of identity, on the basis of culture. The, uh, the people of Pakistan who are in a co political conflict with the Pakistani state, which are home, are living uh, in such a situation that uh, that Pakistan has completely turned into a military garrison, where the forces have cordoned off the, uh, many areas and they uh, are forcing the people through military operations, through enforced disappearances, through systematic eliminations, and all these is, is are being done with impunity. And and whatever Imran Khan said today about the demographic changes, so why you do not listen the people of Bulustan who have been crying over there that our land is annexed against the will of people and we are living under occupation and we are facing concerns that uh, uh, the, the government of Pakistan is going to change the de demography of the Bulustan through her statistic design of CPAC. Why today Imran Khan is so Oh, blind to uh, Baloch people. Earlier, while he was uh, in opposition, there are videos of him that uh, he showed his concerns with respect to the human rights issues in Baluchistan. There is a, a video statement of him that while I was a missing person and he was asking why Munir Mengal is missing and why he is under illegal uh, occupation of Pakistani army, why he is a victim of enforced disappearances. And today there are thousands of thousands of cases from Pakistan that those people are uh, under illegal occupation of Pakistani security forces who have been um, taken, kidnapped illegally and those are a victim of enforced disappearances by the state security forces and unfortunately Imran Khan is a mum towards them is saying nothing towards those issues and yesterday Imran Khan gave a statement and that statement is present in media that Pakistan army is a such sort of army that it is using um, bombs, shells, guns against uh, against her own people. And unfortunately, today, those security forces are using a, a much more violence against people over there. And they are, <coughs> they are eliminating the people. They, are, uh, uh, are, 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 they have cordoned off the areas. They have ashed the houses. And, and thousands of people are missing. There are uh, protests by the people uh, but the state has uh, cordoned off all that region uh, uh, through uh, military and even media is not allowed to go and visit and see those people neither international media nor local local media so uh, these are the real problems of the people because of those problems which the people over there in Pakistan are facing, they are uh, fleeing and coming here uh, to live in Europe. And because of that, the European countries also face uh, problems. So these are the real problems for which the Pakistani state herself, the Pakistani authorities should be made accountable uh, 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 
that why they are making in, in, in the people to flee from their country so for that uh, they should be brought to a court of justice and, and th these are the real problems for which the Pakistani government Imran Khan uh, has to present a solution has to take the confidence of the world that her government will take steps to ensure the basic human rights of people over there and by just you know uh, blaming blaming and just giving a, a, a speeches of, of uh, on the issues of right and left without uh, giving uh, any solutions uh, f for her country for for those people who are facing problems fr from her state from her uh, forces and just you know uh, bashing on uh, non issues and living in a uh, such sort of uh, 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 enigma of uh, uh, creating hypotheses creating a, a, a an imagination uh, without any basis means nothing so uh, uh, again Pakistan missed an opportunity Imran Khan missed an opportunity to gain the faith of the international community to gain the faith of this organization that is called uh, United Nations that Pakistan will be a state will, will which will honor the UN uh, universal declarations on human rights will implement UN uh, conventions uh, 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 in her territory and will give the basic fundamental rights uh, to uh, the people who who, uh, 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 who who are living over there who are subject of that uh, state and will honor the right dignity of those people who are asking for their right to self-determination and will honor the political demand of those people that they are crying that uh, we have been annexed by the state by force against our will and uh, will uh, uh, and they, they are demanding they are, that that we will uh, regain our sovereignty on our land so uh, these are the real problems on which Imran Khan should uh, give a statement and that how the Pakistani government uh, will uh, see all these issues and what policies will opt uh, in order to get the confidence of those people and what policies will opt to give uh, uh, the, the basic rights uh, and uh, particularly the uh, freedom of expression uh, to her citizens and to the people uh, who are living under the uh, occupation of Pakistani forces. Thank you.